Well, we're here today for the launch of Extreme Frontiers to South Africa with Charlie Borman. It's an important day for South Africa tourism and very important day for, for you, Mantis Collection. Yeah, I think it is. Um, it's fantastic coverage. I mean, Charlie's going down for a period of six weeks. Uh, there's going to be a lot of live interaction in terms of the social media platform. So his followers will be able to follow him and hopefully we'll attract more followers along the way while it's all happening. And then, of course, the production takes place um, and will air on Channel 5, um, I think we're talking November, December. And uh, it's a, a four-parter. So it'll be brilliant coverage in the UK market. And then it gets rolled out internationally into a seven-parter. So it's got, it's got lots of legs, and we're very excited to be associated with, with the whole project as the official um, sponsor in terms of uh, hospitality. And what do you hope to achieve by the uh, sponsorship? I think um, Mantis is, is not just about high-end luxury. We, we also like to attach our high-end luxury to, to adventure, and the program's all about adventure, and Charlie taking a BMW bike around the whole country with him to explore not just the luxury, but um, all the other things that come with it. And, and that aligns itself perfectly with the Mantis brand. Um, so, you know, if you're going to a place like Port Elizabeth, it's not all about um, just staying in the, in the five-star boutique hotel that we have there. It's about possibly going out to sea to go and experience the whales. Um, the sardine run is taking place at the moment. It's one of the biggest migrations. We call it the greatest shoal on earth. And, uh, of course, you've got a lot of game reserves in the backyard of Port Elizabeth, too. So it's really about that, I think, and that's what we're trying to um, expose in the show. And the Mantis philosophy, it's very much about um, putting back in. It's, it's a sustainable tourism philosophy and a blueprint of how you can invest in tourism and get back in return. Yeah, I think, um, again, uh, there is a common thread that runs, runs through the group, um, and it all relates back to heritage and conservation. And so uh, most definitely, I think uh, when the crew are out there, apart from them, again, just experiencing the luxury that we have to offer, um, we're going to do a segment for them on rhino conservation in South Africa. I think we're losing, on average, two rhinos a day. Um, it's got very, very bad out there. And it's not affecting tourism, but... Um, it's, it's certainly affecting the, the population of this incredible species that brings tourism to us. So it's, it's very important that we showcase what is going on because um, every tourist wants to see a rhino. So um, we will highlight that in the show. Um, we also are going to be opening a um, hotel. We'll be opening a hotel in Johannesburg called Lily's Leaf. And Lily's Leaf is where um, the, the, the current government at the time used to run an underground operation um, in apartheid South Africa. And, uh, and we're talking back in the 60s now. And th they all got captured on this farm called Lily's Le Leaf. And Lily's Leaf is now a heritage site. There's a museum there. There's uh, a lot of the archives are stored there in terms of original letters that Nelson Mandela would have written and loads of other uh, very interesting stuff. And um, on site and on location at the, of the museum, Mantis will be building a five-star hotel, which will ho hopefully open at the end of 2013. So we're going to do a very special farewell dinner at Lily's Leaf. So again, that's all about heritage. So that's what we're going to try and portray uh, along with our hotels in this series. Now, looking outside South Africa, you're, you're, you're expanding. Can you tell us a bit about your operations and where you're moving, what new territories you're moving into? Yeah, certainly. We've got uh, quite an interesting um, uh, opportunity in India. We've partnered up with a, a, a very well-connected family out in India. And they will be opening a tiger reserve out there in 2013, again, end of 2013, uh, in the Pench Nat National Park. And um, that's going to be a mantis-operated property. And again, aligning our brand with conservation, tiger conservation. So we're thrilled about that. We also have moved into Nigeria. We've taken the brand into Nigeria. Everybody says we're crazy. But it's incredible. We've, the, 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 the connections we've built there and the families that we are dealing with there have been first class they're incredible people, and um, it's a very interesting place to go and take the boutique um, uh, brand of Mantis into that market. So we'll see where that ends up, and, and it's looking very rosy. We've, we had one signed up, and we've now got several in the pipeline. So it's flying, and that's in a matter of uh, nine months. Okay, Paul, well, thank you very much for joining us here on Breaking Travel News, and uh, good luck with the Extreme Frontiers. Thank you very much.